Hey, my name is Jasmine. I'm an illustrator. Welcome to my channel. For today's vlog, I'm going to document how I finish drawing the first chapter of my medieval comic, Girl Night. I've been documenting for years how I've written, designed, and now how I'm drawing this project. Where I'm at with it is I am drawing the very first chapter. Uh, it's been a longer process than I would like it to be only because it's all new and I'm figuring out things as I go in the drawing side. I'm feeling out how many panels on average each page should have, I'm figuring out what type of expressions, how cartoony or manga leaning to go, things like that. So I think it's still going to be a slow process but I will say now that I'm on page 5, it's going a lot faster than the excruciating process of just getting the first page out. So for this vlog, I'm simply going to document how I finish the first chapter because as I've mentioned, I'm on page 5 out of 9 pages, so I'm pretty much halfway there. My goal for at least this week is to be able to draw page 6 and 7. It's 5.30 Monday, October 31st, and uh, the rest of my evening's gonna be going for a run and starting on page six. But what I would like to do is to at least panel out the rest of the pages so that every time I go to a new page, I don't have to spend time drawing out the panels. I can just dive right into the drawing. So that's what's on the agenda for, for now. Here are the pages I've completed. It's one, two, three. I have four there. There you go, and I have five here. So with page five done, we're going to start page six with a totally blank page. To draw out the panels, I'm going to refer to my thumbnails. It's really great to have a glass drawing table because I can literally put it underneath it and glance at it when I need to. If you'd like to see the pages more in detail, I am posting them on my Patreon so you can access all the pages I've drawn so far for just a dollar. of the four pages left in chapter one. It feels good to have them all already paneled out because that way once I finish each page I can just start working on the next one without a pause. Emotionally, yay, this is uh, not much left. But mentally, I know that this is a ton of work, especially the last page, which is going to be a full page. I actually like to have the last page up as a reference. working on NaNoWriMo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm also making a vlog series because the month of November is National Novel Writing Month, so there's that that I need to work on this month too. It's noon and I want to go to the gym at 5, so I'm giving myself 4 hours to focus completely on comic drawing and see how much I can get done. The more I'm doing this, the faster I'm getting, and not to say that I'll ever get really fast, but as long as I'm not excruciatingly slow as I have been, say, when I was drawing the first page. Like, that's just, that is not sustainable. I want to see if I can speed things up in the next four hours. My battery died. Comparison to how I was feeling in my last comics vlog, I'm feeling a lot better. I don't feel as anxious working on this project. Is that going to change? Yes. There's probably going to be times that I feel like crap again. In fact, maybe around this page because I'm gonna have to start drawing some action poses again and those are really hard. I have to remember to keep having fun. If I don't see this as a job or as work, 
that'll translate in the artwork and it won't look as stiff so I do need to keep keep my head high and remember to just have fun I started to tape the white sheet that I used to rest my hand on so I don't smear the drawings and it's working out really well. Good morning! I was supposed to finish page 6 yesterday, but it just got too late. I have only one panel left to draw. I want to finish that right now and start page 7. Ideally, I said I wanted to finish at least 6 and 7 this week. So I have errands to run today, so I'm not sure I'll be able to actually draw all of page 7, but we can try. This is the last panel. It's what the duel is looking like through Christos's point of view. So the shot is kind of far away and at an angle because it's what you would see if you were on the second floor of a window. I don't think I got the perspective right at all. But I'm still gonna go ahead and draw it in the next couple of weeks when I do get to coloring this I'll be able to really spot what the issues are and fix them digitally so I'm not gonna worry about it I used to but I'm getting a lot better about not sticking to perfection at this early stage in the production and of course the leaf blower guy is here got a new haircut what do you think? It's definitely a lot shorter than I planned it to be, but I told the hairstylist, like, just do what you gotta do, cut whatever's dry. So, obviously, there was a lot dry. For the comic, I have started page seven, so that makes the total six pages drawn, two pages colored, three pages to go. It's Sunday, and I am very behind on words. After a weekend of house cleaning and running errands, I'm going to take a moment to start reading this book, and then to go back to writing. Why am I reading this book? It's considered a really good one when it comes to paranormal romance. It's got great reviews. I really want to fall in love with a romance book this year. I haven't really read that many that I liked, so maybe this will be the one for 2022. Hello, it's Monday, December 5th. I have no idea when the last time I recorded for this specific vlog was, but I'm back to working on Girl Night. I took a break in November to work on my NaNoWriMo writing project. I am ready to finish chapter one of this project. I wanted to also take a break, be able to take a step back and give some distance to all those panels that I had drawn. I haven't seen these panels in almost a month. So I'm a little excited and also terrified at how bad they are because I definitely know that there's a few panels that will need to be replaced and I don't really know how to improve them. But that is not the assignment for today. What I'm going to do is just reread what I've drawn and continue where I left off. I'm not going to edit right now, so I'm going to do that once I reach all the way to page 8 or 9, I think it was 9 pages. So that's pretty much it. We're going to continue. I am very glad to be back. short read. It's not as bad as I thought. There are some pretty strong panels, so I feel like the bad panels, if I can fix them enough, it's not as glaring because 
there are some good panels, so... <sighs> I don't know. I genuinely think that once I'm in the digital stage, I'll be able to make some big improvements on it, so... I feel pretty relieved, actually. <laughs> The other thing that's throwing me off is that there's no word bubbles drawn here so it does kind of make the reading experience a little crappy because maybe the bad panels wouldn't look so bad um, once you put the word bubbles in. For example, before I put this away, this one. Look how static this looks. It just, he's just standing in the middle and boring and dull. But because of the word bubble that's supposed to be here, these guys in the background are saying something funny while he's standing there so you're missing some of the context in that panel but if anyone were to see this panel like this they would think this is terrible terrible storytelling this is like amateur level uh framing so not good at all but i wonder in the digital stage if i can finagle with it and not make it look so amateur maybe we don't have to totally scrap it and here we go, time to draw. It's already 12.30, so I am barely getting to continuing page 7 of this comic. Did I progress much yesterday? I'm not sure. Only the first panel was half drawn, and so I sketched out, I sketched out four more panels and finished one tiny one. Um, I'm feeling very hesitant. I have the cat here. I'm feeling very hesitant drawing this because I just don't feel super confident in my abilities and in feeling like that I am just lightly sketching the panels instead of really committing to finishing them so I'm hoping that today I'll feel a little bit more confident I started to practice drawing again so in the mornings with coffee I'll look at reference photos and doodle for about an hour not sure if it's helping I have to catch myself not to be copying and to actually be studying which is a different way of viewing reference photos and I can go over that in another video but I am trying to be more thoughtful about my practice I'm hoping that is going to contribute to that today is going to be just a continuing of the struggle watch him eating for hours I'm also starting late because we I had to move our truck from the street sweeping side and uh, usually Jonathan moves the truck before he goes to work but I totally we both totally forgot and so I had to move the truck today I've never driven that truck you guys so that was an experience. I FaceTimed him and he pretty much told me like what things to press, what brakes to shift and I, yeah, that was stressful and I was in my PJ still. <laughs> but you know, it's nice to do something uncomfortable and to succeed in it. So that kind of goes in line with uh, what's behind me. Also today I decided to do a pink eyeliner look. Something different. Don't get too comfortable, kitty. I'm gonna have to move. two little panels and I'm working on that third one that I had sketched out yesterday so not bad progress here he woke up from his nap so now he's a little 
上面。the page almost it's these two big panels that are um, in the middle of action that are taking a lot more time and effort to draw and then after this page it'll be only two pages left I'm really looking forward to getting to edit this on the computer because this line art is just like a first draft of it so if I already think that this looks kind of okay I can't imagine once I get to edit it out digitally how much better it's gonna look so maybe it's the coffee that I drank at freaking four o'clock but I feel still really energized so I'm gonna keep at this tonight and I will check back with you tomorrow it's been a few days since the last update only because I really don't have anything new to say other than you know i've been drawing right now then what's left is the one big panel and finishing this one um but yeah this morning all this was empty i started this at 7 30 in the morning it's three o'clock now i think i think we can do it you guys i think i'll be able to do this and that next page I was supposed to go to the gym yesterday after my day job, but I really wanted to work on this and today I'm also supposed to be going to the gym and I am not going to do that. I'm going to work on this because it's bugging me. And in the best way, I I love I really love what I'm doing and I love this world and I just don't want to go away from it. Yeah. It's a really good place to be in, you guys. I made the mistake of giving him pomegranates and it now splattered on my desk so some of my pages do have a little bit of pomegranate juice on them. <laughs> One panel left and it's only 4 30 so yeah let's do this but I've been using the magic poser app to map out some more complicated panels because I still really struggle with spatial stuff things that require putting objects in a three-dimensional space my only issue that I think is occurring here because I'm noticing it in this panel Boniface looks really small compared to her, even though, yeah, she's on top of him, I think it's slightly distorted. He should not be that small. And I'm just speaking from my own intuition and my instincts as an artist, like, that he, this looks off. So that's why I made a note to make Boniface bigger um, in the digital phase. And the same thing was happening here. Now, Boniface looks way bigger than her. I might have to do the same kind of editing with that panel. So, I think the camera engine in this app is a little wonky. I think this is the biggest issue using this app. And that's why I haven't like fully been talking too much about it. I've, I've been showing it on my social media, but I haven't been 100% endorsing it because I think if you're not aware that it is not a perfect app and I mean perfect as in that you can copy it line by line and it's going to look not wonky I think you should be very cautious using this and applying it to your art I'm aware that that might be an issue and that's why I'm drawing this here and just trying to see what's off because there is going to be something off here I just I'm not sure yet Okay, okay, it's 
it's 9 17 at night and i have day job tomorrow which means i have to wake up at 5 30 in the morning i really do have to start winding down i wasn't able to finish it today i think i underestimated just how much work a big ass drawing like this entails so we're not quite ending this vlog yet see you next week yay i finished it is january 4th <laughs> A while has passed and I just got to this only because I've been away from the house. We've been visiting family, staying at my in-laws house, so I've had to do more portable artwork and by that I mean I got to edit all of chapter one's pages, obviously except for this last page. Um, so I'm almost done with chapter one, like this is nuts. If you'd like to see what those pages have been looking like, you should be on my Patreon. It's only a dollar every month and I post on there pretty frequently. So it hasn't really hit me that the first chapter's almost done because I've been so focused on being critical of, of all this line work, being critical of what it looks like, the anatomy, just being the worst that I haven't been able to really like enjoy acknowledging that i've done all this work part of me feels like a lot of this is not even good work so i feel guilty working on it at the same time it is a little bit schizophrenic and not very healthy but it is what it is and i'm just trudging through all those feelings and i can't believe we're at the end of chapter one so yeah really all i need to do is scan this drawing edit it and compile it all into one nice chapter one issue what do I want to do with it? I have yet to decide because I really need to make some kind of an income on this. I might throw out a version of this as a PDF or keep it and only post some of it on Patreon, keep it until I have like three issues and come out with a pretty chill Kickstarter for this. I have no idea. It is a terrifying prospect, but right now I just need to focus on keeping this story going. What I truly am learning now is there is the artist brain and then there's the marketing brain and when you are creating you cannot be thinking too too much about marketing because it is going to bog you down so right now i don't need to make big decisions on what to do with this comic really i just need to focus on continuing to develop it i will keep vlogging posting them on patreon eventually in a couple of months i would think i will be able to make a decision stay tuned if you're not subscribed to my channel you should and i will see you in the next video where i'll be working on chapter two Bye!